Hey everyone, and welcome to our very first virtual planetarium show. We'd like to give a special warm welcome to all of the first graders at Cornerstone Charter Academy in Greensboro, North Carolina. We had an absolute blast visiting with you in the Cult Planetarium several weeks ago. We miss you and we hope you're doing well. We know you must miss your school and your friends and your teachers at school, so we have a very special surprise for you. We found out a way to put your school into our special astronomy planetarium software. So as you can see here, there's your school. You can see the sun in the sky now slowly setting in the west, and pretty soon you'll see all the stars in the night sky as they would appear above your school come out. Now hopefully all of you remember our conversation the other day about constellations. See, currently we divide the sky into 88 different pieces called constellations. So you'll see here their names pop up, and their stick figure outlines, and then these beautiful illustrations. Now there are two in particular I want you to try to find the next clear evening shortly after the sun sets in the west, and they are Orion the hunter and Taurus the bull. You can see them here just over the rooftop of your building. Now again, these are just two of 88 different constellations we use to divide the night sky up into different pieces. Different people, when they looked at the night sky, saw different pictures and shapes and constellations. These you might be familiar with, but other cultures came up with other constellations. Like these, the Chinese constellations. They used four main symbols to describe what they saw in the night sky, like the white tiger and the red bird. And your classmates found their own constellations and patterns in the night sky. Holden found a duck, a dog, a dragon, and a kite. Hunter found a dog, a dragon, a rabbit. And Avery found a fish, a boot, and many other constellations, including one of my favorites, the mustache. And did you know you can even see planets in the night sky without a telescope with just your eyes? If you go outside shortly after sunset over the next couple of weeks, that really bright star-like object you see in the west isn't a star, it's the planet Venus. And if you feel like waking up really early, which your parents will surely appreciate, if you go outside just before sunrise and look towards the east, you'll see three bright planets, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. So as you can see, there are four planets easily visible to the naked eye right now. Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. Venus, of course, is the easiest one to find because it's available shortly after sunset. You know what? Why don't we go ahead and visit all four of those planets in our spaceship? Let's go! you enjoyed that very quick tour of the planets. Now before we go, Miss Beard told me that Joshua, one of your classmates, had a birthday earlier this week. So we want to wish him a very happy birthday from the Cult Planetarium. Now we've done something really special for him. We used our software to figure out what the stars and the planets looked like the day Joshua was born. All the constellations we looked at tonight were up in the night sky that evening, but something really cool was also up and highly visible, and that was the planet Jupiter. And on top of that, the moon in what's called a waxing gibbous phase was also high, high in the night sky. So you had some really awesome skies the evening that you were born. So once again, happy birthday. So that does it for our first ever virtual planetarium tour. Thank you all for joining us, and don't forget, keep looking up.